Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Neverwinter Nights Hordes of the Underdar. Oh. Um in the last episode. Oh, what's what's going on here? There's something casting a spell. Ooh. Okay. What's attacking us right now? Drow Handmaiden. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that there were still things in here for us to fight. Okay, anyways, in the last episode, we made our way down into this uh, pit that was underneath that Vixthra temple. They've been creating bone golems down here using the blood of some uh, planar being from an outer realm or something like that. And I can't see, so I can't. there's nothing I can do right now. Um, let's see, the drow plate plus the plus three drow plate can go in there. All right, cool. Why am I, it's like, I'm suddenly unable to identify anything anymore. Okay. Belt of fire giant strength and a plus four katana. Very nice. I believe he already has a belt of fire giant strength in his inventory, so that's, yeah, he doesn't really need that. Okay. Uh, you can pause the video to watch this. If you would like. I am less than interested in anything that the Valshris has to say to her minions. Acid resistance, ring of protection, still lesser restoration. Okay. I really need, like, some kind of healing situation, because this is getting annoying. Okay, uh, there's a chest here. Lesser restoration. It's all lesser restoration. Oh, I need to put my ring back on. Uh, that goes there. There's an armoire over here. I don't think I've opened this chest. Nope. Okay. And then is there anything in here? Does not appear so. <clears throat> Save our game and continue moving through the dungeon here. bunch of bone golems in here. Probably not worth the time it's going to take us to kill them, but we opened the door, so gotta do what we gotta do. Very well. And he's just stuck out there in the corridor, so... Okay, come on, dude. Feel free to come this way, please. Oh, he got stuck in the terrain. Way to go, dude. All right, now attack. All right, attack, please. Oh, terrain, man. Terrain is the bane of my existence. And she, like, just, I guess she casts, like, invisibility on herself and just goes into hiding or something. I don't know what the deal is. But she insists on putting herself in some kind of state that prevents any kind of combat to happen. I would really like to resolve this level drain situation. Ow. Ow. Come on. Just need to kill this guy. Come 
Come on, kill him. He doesn't have anywhere else to run. Okay. Oh, and we gotta... Into the flames we, leap. we gotta kill his body. We gotta kill his body before he does anything stupid. Come on, open the door. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. This is stupid. And then it just, it reset. <laughs> oh, this is the kind of stupid stuff that gets on my nerves. I cannot. And he can't do anything with it. I can't even make a scratch. How am I supposed to get through this? I can't disable the trap and it resets itself every time I do anything with it. Oh my god, this is stupid. This is stupid. I'm sorry, this is dumb. There is no excuse for this. A, a, a trap that resets itself and it paralyzes you so you can't do anything. What kind of stupid crap is that? And of course, now I'm encumbered. Oh, did he find, did he actually disable the trap? Well, okay. Why didn't he just do that in the first place? Whatever. Um, okay, can I Where's my um Where is my Need that crossbow of ooh and what do I currently have? Plus five, mighty. Oh, unlimited arrow. Okay, so the bow makes more sense, even though the crossbow's cool. Crossbow's cool, but it doesn't make sense for me to really use that because the bow gives me unlimited ammo and I don't have to worry about it. All right, uh, let's check the chests here. Mistran belt of priestly might and warding. Armor bonus, enhancement bonus. Only usable by good. Okay. Fortunately, it does not... Nice. Okay, so we'll be able to give that back to her. Nullifier rod. That's probably going to disable the thing. And this is also the energy, energy dealy thingy that we need. Dire mace. Alright, we're just going to have to summon the... We're going to have to summon the shopkeeper real quick. So we can sell off a bunch of stuff. Oops. We have all these potions of lesser restoration, but none of them help me. Flail of destruction. On hit, dark fire, immolate, level 14. Fire damage, 1d8. Ooh, we have to check out... I'm going to check, uh, can I open his inventory real quick? Because what is he using right now? He's using Sabal's Flail. That gives 2d6 fire damage, plus 5, and Flame Lash, versus Dark Fire, 1d8, and it's plus 3. Uh, let's let him use this for a little bit. Oh. Is he not able to use? Okay, yeah, I'll let him use that for a little bit. Um, I don't really need this anymore, right? But it's a unique weapon that has a thing, so whatever. I'm just, I'm hesitant to 
sell any of these really cool weapons that he has. I probably should, but you know, you know how it is. You have that loot hoarding mentality that's difficult to overcome. Potion of Cure Critical Wounds. Okay. Uh, which one of these is Antidote? Okay. So let's put that there. That there. Critical Wounds. A bunch of critical wound potions. There's moderate wounds. So we'll just start another stack there. Okay. So right now we're mostly just doing this because we need to offload our inventory. Enhancement bonus on hit. I mean, these are cool weapons. But I don't have any... I don't have any uh, feats or anything like that that's going to make it super worth it to hold on to those. So as much as I don't want to, I'm going to sell them. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't even think I have. Uh, I don't think I have the uh, exotic weapon proficiency to be able to use that anyway. So, okay, iron skin ring that goes back there. I'm never going to use that. I want to give her her mace back, because maybe she'll come and help us in the fight. Okay, so that's it for all that. Energy drain. I mean, I'll hold on to it, but I'm never going to remember to use it. I'm terrible about remembering to use items that I have in my... Oh, damn it. I had stuff in my... Uh, I had stuff in my bags that I needed to sell. Once again, you have summoned me. Of course. Okay, that can go away. That can go away. I don't need a second belt of fire giant strength. I already have one of those. I don't need another one of those. Okay. Never gonna end up using these because what am I wearing right now? Boots of speed. I mean, unless I get another thing that gives me haste. I don't know. All right, so let's save. We have the we have all the spheres of energy we need. So now we can go back out into the main room, take all the spheres out of any of the pedestals that are there. Go one, two, three. Hopefully that'll open the door over here, and we'll be able to find out what's through the last. Oh well, hold on. Before we do that, let's go. Re, let's go. Re, Let's go release her from her thing. Place the nullifier rod inside. The woman's rigid posture softens, and a faint red glow you hadn't noticed before seems to drain out of her. The wind stirs her rat wind stirs her ragged feathers. Oh, this is horrible. I don't mean to be ungrateful. I mean, you rested me, but you're evil. I can see it crawling all over you, out of the frying pan and into the fire, right? Why didn't you just drain my blood like everyone else? Uh, don't kick a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, I've made a mess of this whole thing, but at least I'm not being held captive anymore. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my superiors. Come on, now it's not so bad. But it is. Dirty little diva. Bad Lavora. Time to go, time to go crying home, but I can't. They'll never take me back now. I failed all of them. Well, what do you intend to do now? Uh, how about this? I could use your help. Why would you want my help? All I do is make a mess of things. It's your chance to make things right. You know what? You're right. Sure, I've run into some problems, but that doesn't mean I can't do some good. I'd love to help you. I need your help defeating Vixthra. The one the vampires worship? I admit I have a bone to pick with him. I am weak and may not survive the battle, but I would be dying in the cause for I would be dying in the cause of good at least. Are you sure? There's a rebellion against the drow, and the rebel camp needs your protection. The drow? The vampires were using my blood to fashion golems for the drow army. Won't they be surprised to meet me on the battlefield? Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, well, that's fine. Crystal of Undeath. Ugh, okay. Well, we definitely don't want to use that at all, but that's better than... I wanted to give her her mace back. <laughs> it would have been nice to be able to give her her mace back. Um, 
Yeah, I would have liked to have given her given her her mace back. Maybe we'll get a chance before the battle starts. Okay, so we've rescued her. How close are we to leveling? We've rescued her, so let's get our energy crystals back out of here. Okay, so we put one here. We put one in here. We should have one more, right? Okay, now we can rest. Might we speak? Certainly, what do you want? He watches you for a moment, his expression betraying a certain an uncertainty behind his eyes. I wish to talk about the seer. Why, you think I still betray her? Possibly. I think you need to know just how important the seer is to me, to everyone who follows her. I intend to protect her at all costs. I'm unsure how much knowledge you have of the planes. I suspect I suspect a little, in which case the Blood Wars means nothing to you. You'd be correct. I have no idea what that is. The Blood Wars are an age-old conflict between demons of the Abyss and the devils of, ba of ba ba Batazu. Uh, we have battled so long and ferociously, ferociously that the war is now part of our blood. There is, no true, there is no true hope of winning just one battle after the other, an endless cycle of rage and bloodshed. I was recruited into those battles. For years, I fought on the Outer Plains. I was a beast. Um, why did you fight if you didn't like it? I had little choice. I was a slave. He threw me, uh, my demonic master threw me into each battle. Uh, how long did this go on? I cannot be sure. Much of my time in the abyss was spent in incoherent rage, perhaps 20 years. Um, how are we continue your tale? The blood wars made me into the warrior I am, though it meant nothing to me. I was a mindless soldier. The Infernal Masters encouraged me, encouraged the demonic blood that was in me. I was beholden to it. I had no choice. Blah, blah, blah. There was nothing in me that was human until the seer found me. Uh, for the first time I saw her, I, I was summoned along with my master to, the, to your world by a spell to fight uh, against the seer. The drow priestess called on us and we were beholden to do battle. During the attack, I came face to face with her. She looked into my soul. I have no way to describe it. Uh, we were banished back to the plains, but the memory of the seer stayed with me. For the first time in decades, I began to remember the life I once had. And what happened next? My master sensed my difficulty. Uh, he was able to escape. He came to our world, searched out the seer. She healed his wounds, and she saved him in every way possible. Uh, let's see. Your master didn't try to get you back. Yeah, but... Uh, he wasn't able to. Well, I'm not going to betray anyone. I, I understand we all do. Uh, hold on. I thought it necessary to tell you all of that so you know how important she is. I would never betray her or allow her to be betrayed. I understand we all do what we must. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to finish. I'm trying to finish whatever this is before we are out of time for an episode. You have made it this far, have you? You have no idea how foolish you are. You will have no chance against Vixla, the Sacred One. Soon all the realms will worship him, and his priesthood shall rule all the lands. Your soul will be Vixla's for all eternity. Okay. We'll see about that, I guess. I thought we killed him already. Um, okay. Um Well that's no that's no good. I don't know what I don't know what to do if we if he's gonna be able to just insta kill me like that. And I can't you have made it this far, have you? You have no idea how foolish you are. You will have no chance against Vixla, the sacred one. Soon all the realms will worship him, and his priesthood shall rule all the lands. Your soul will be Vixla's for all eternity. I'll try to quickly save on a different thing before we do that, so that if we have to redo this again. Okay, so we'll save it on our main save here. Can you not feel it? We are near the master of 
this terrible place. Be wary. Now, he's got some kind of damage damage prevention or damage like he's damaging me by something, I don't know. Have on shadows closing in. Can I hit him at all? No, hitting him just. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Like I, I, I'm, I would imagine, is this like a permanent spell that he has on him? He regenerates, increased stuff. He's got some kind of magic shield. So I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. Does this eventually go away, or? If I hit him at all, there's like the. Okay, well, I'm not messing around with the Vixra thing then, because that's that's. I don't know how much time we're gonna have to waste trying to do that, and I know for a fact that we have put ourselves into the point where we can, can we, where we can move forward with the story. So, sorry guys, you're gonna have to do without the Vixra thing. It's. It's just not it's not worth the it's not worth the time it's gonna take to try to figure out how to do that or waiting for whatever spells he has to drop off or any of that other stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys have lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you for the next one.